Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine. And you, teacher? I'm great. Thank you for asking. How are you, everybody? Um, good. Good evening. Rocio, Jader, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Ceci, hello. Hi, great. Thank you. All right, that is really good to hear. Mercedes, welcome. How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? How was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Beatriz, hello, hello. My dear participants, how are you today? Uh, good teacher, good, good. Good, all right. Mercedes, is everything good? Yes, all right, <laughs> that is all right. <laughs> that is good. Yes. No problem. Okay. Well, gracias por unirse. Gracias por estar acá este día. All right. Thank you very much. We are going to start today session number uh, five. All right. So we are going to be working with the session today. All right. Allow me just a second here. Um, ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Ya avanzaron hasta la parte dos. Teacher, yo voy por la 4.12. Excellent, that's really good. That is really good to hear. Avancemos eh, tanto como podamos, right? Miguel, welcome. Hello. Hello there. Hello, hello, teacher. All right. Uh, yo voy hasta 4.2. Okay, 4.2. Okay, perfecto. Vamos en la 4. Mercedes, ¿en cuál vamos? Mejor no le digo, teacher. ¿Ya llegamos a las dos? Más o menos. Ok. Muy, muy atrasada. Ah, ok. Intentemos ponernos al día, right? Especially uh -huh. because ahorita ya vamos con la sección número dos, la de, con health y con medicine. Entonces, para que vayamos al eh, siguiendo, right? Vayamos al corriente, all right? Uh, guys, what about the rest of you? Ya ver cómo vamos. Empezando la cuatro. Perfect, that's really good to hear. And uh, Ceci, Rocio, Alfredo, Beatriz, what about you? I finished three. You finished number three, excellent, that's really good. Uh, Rocio, what about you? I'm going to start um, tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you're going to start with number one? Yeah, but I... Oh, okay. I'm finishing one day in two hours around. Ah, okay, yeah, sure. In one hour, se pone al día, so that is all right. Really good. Please, pongámonos al día lo antes posible, right? Thank you very much. All right, guys. So, uh, gracias por unirse, all right? Vamos a dar inicio to today's session, all right? And uh, lo voy a poner acá en mute. So, if you have any questions, please, uh, usemos la manita, right? So, try to uh, raise your hand over here so we can check this out just a second all right here we go so today is session number five all right and we are going to work a little bit with a uh, section number two okay so by the end of the class you will learn the names of common medications for health problems okay and also you will learn to use positive and negative imperatives so this is a really easy topic, and I am pretty sure that you will understand this really fast, okay? First, and just to begin with this, vamos a repasar, we are going to check the health problems that we studied in, in, session, uh, in section number two, all right? So these are the most common health problems. And if you remember in the previous, uh, well, session we were talking about health problems okay and we checked two questions one question is what is wrong and the other one is what's the matter and we said que cuando hablamos de enfermedades all right we can ask these two questions what's wrong what's the matter so cuál es el problema what's the problem all right so estamos hablando de enfermedades here and we have a couple of uh, 
problems right here, all right? So, checamos algunos, probably some others are kind of new, all right? So, comenzamos por los que ya revisamos. Let's check the ones, um, all right, that you are familiar with. For example, we have this one, okay? That is backache, all right? So, dolor de espalda, we have backache. Also, in the previous uh, session, we checked earache, all right? That was pain in your ear. The other one is headache. All right, so a pain in your head. So headache. Also, we checked a stomach ache, all right? A pain in your stomach. And now we have here a toothache, all right? So a pain in your tooth, toothache, all right? Now, but here we have other illness. First of all, tell me from this illness, which ones uh, do you normally have? The cuales, uh, you know, cuales normalmente han uh, padecido de estas. Have you ever had any of these illness? ¿Alguna vez han tenido alguna? Have you ever had any of them? A headache. Okay, so headache. For example, fever. Have you ever had fever? Juan Carlos, tell me, Juan Carlos, go ahead. The flu. Okay, flu, thank you, thank you very much. So flu, headache, any other? We have here measles, all right? So measles, if you take a look at the little boy, right, he has rash, okay? So measles is kind of viruela, right? So we have measles right here. Rash, okay, so this is rash. So when your body gets red, okay, so you are red, and sometimes you have to scratch it, all right? So this is rash. Uh, in El Salvador, one of the most common is Zika, right? So when you get Zika, you have rash. Now, we have here like a couple of them, so you may take notes, okay, and uh, Y vayamos también revisando el vocabulary para que vayamos construyendo su propio, your own vocabulary here, all right? But uh, first of all, there is one exercise in the platform that I want you to take a look at it, all right? And the exercise says, whenever I am sick, all right? Whenever I am sick, I, and this is like part of the things that you normally do. So whenever I am sick, Cuando ustedes están enfermos, whenever you are sick, ¿qué hacen? When, for example, in my case, whenever I am sick, I go to the doctor, okay? So that's like very common, all right? So whenever the doctor. I am, exactly, whenever I am sick, cuando yo estoy enferma, so whenever I am sick, I take an acetaminophen, all right? I take a uh, painkiller. Painkiller is kind of analgesic, all right? So I, I take a painkiller. This is a possibility. Or I take acetaminophen, I take panadol, all right? So first of all, what do you do? Whenever you are sick, ¿qué hacen cuando están enfermos? What do you do? Or for example, take a look at this one. Whenever I have a headache, all right? Whenever I have a headache, ¿Qué hacen cuando tienen dolor de cabeza? What do you do whenever you have a headache? Whenever I have a headache, I take a nap. Yo tomo una, una siesta, right? I take a nap. What do you do whenever you have a headache? ¿Qué es lo que hacen? What do you do? So, um, I am going to show you these uh, pictures one more time, all right? And I want you to tell me a couple of ideas, all right? I want you to take notes and think about some illness. For example, a cough, all right? So cough, cuando tengo tos. Whenever I have a cough, I do this. Yo hago esto, all right? So normally we can use take, para medicina we can use take, all right? Or we can use other uh, words, for example, a toothache. Whenever I have a toothache, I take, um, can you tell me something that you take? What do you take whenever you have a toothache? Do you take medicine? Tomamos medicina, do you take medicine? 
o era acetaminofén too? Yes, Juan Carlos? Uh, I take in aspirin. Oh, okay, so you take an aspirin. Thank you. Anybody else? Do you take anything? I visit a dentist. Oh, all right. So you visit a dentist. That is really important. Whenever I have, for example, a, whenever I have a toothache, I go to the dentist, all right, or I go to the orthodontist, okay? So this is what we are going to do. Vamos a escribir un par de, de medicina, all right, like some examples of the medicine that you take, o que es lo que hacen, all right, when that happens. For example, whenever I have fever, I take a shower. Whenever I have fever, I take acetaminophen. Or whenever I have a fever, well, I go to the doctor, all right? So, ¿qué es lo que hacen? What do you do? I will give you two or three minutes, okay? Y escribamos tantos como podamos, as many examples as you can. Si no tienen esta enfermedad, all right, o estos síntomas, so pueden empezar en otros. You can think about others, all right? So, tres minutos, I'll give you three minutes. Write as many examples as you can, all right? I am right here, so when I, if you have any question, please let me know. Teacher. Hello. What, what mean whenever? Oh, whenever is um, siempre que, right? Whenever. Cuando yo me siento mal. Whenever I feel bad. Thank you. You're welcome. One more minute. 
Hello, hello. Do we have some examples? Hello, Jamie. Hello, hello. Do you have some examples? Ya tenemos un par de ideas. Do you have some examples? Did you write them? Yeah. Yes. All right. Thank you. That is great. Uh, Erica. Hello, Erica. Tell me. Hello. Um, whenever. Whenever. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? No sé. Yeah, whenever. Whenever. I am a co. I take a tea of chamomile. Ah, okay, okay. So that would be like whenever um, I am is a possibility. Also, we can use whenever I have, all right? Ah, In the case of ah. cold, exactly. So we can just have a cold. Siempre que yo tengo eh, un resfriado, whenever I have a cold, I take a chamomile tea. Very nice. That's a really good example, all right? Thank you very much. Okay, so listen up. What we will do is this. Vamos a hacer grupos. We will um, create some groups right here. All right. And uh, we are going to share. The idea is to practice. So we are going to... Mayra says, whenever I have a cold, I go to the doctor. Okay, Mayra, that is a really good example. Okay, everybody. So we will make some groups here. Uh, practice okay with the other participants because that is the the objective of the activity all right and share as many as possible so here we go in three two and one Hello, Beatriz, Mr. Albarenga, uh, Vilma Leiva. Hello, hello. sick i i take a nap whenever i have back vacate i take a ibuprofen whenever i have a rush i take a shower nice very good very good okay let's continue that was actually very nice very good job mercedes good Thank you, teacher. let's continue Next, next, next. Rodrigo, la tuya. Um, whenever I am sick, uh, I take a descanso, ¿cómo se dice? Nap. Rest. Nap, okay. nap, es fiesta, rest. Creo que sería descansar. Well, you can say I take a, um, a nap, all right, but nap, yeah, es siesta. Or you can say I rest. Es lo mismo de descanso. Yeah, you can say I rest or I relax. Ah, okay. That is fine. All right, so let's continue.
Mr. Quintanilla, hello. Whenever, whenever I, I have a fever, I um, take aspirina. Ah, okay, okay. Mercedes says she takes acetaminophen, I think. All right, and you take aspirina. All right, that's okay. Any other? Ibuprofen. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, thank you, Mr. Quintanilla. Jader, right. uh, Mr. Flores, what about you? Yo había dicho las mías, pero igual, repito. Whenever I have a coach, I take honey with lemon. Ah, okay. Only honey, yeah. lemon, or do you put ginger in other ingredients? Um, only honey. honey with lemon. Ah, uh, all right. So that would be cough, all right? Whenever you have like, <clears throat> whenever you have the cough. Cough. Cough, exactly. Cough, cough. okay. All right, that's okay. Whenever I am a headache, I take a pie killer. Whenever uh -huh. I am the flu, I take Panadol Antidipal. Oh, is it good? <laughs> ¿Es buena? Is it good? Yes, for me, it's the best. Oh, okay. Nice. That sounds good. All right. Thank you. That's okay. Mercedes, sorry. Creo que quería agregar algo. No. All right. No, no. Okay. Mr. Flores, what about you? Whenever I have an asthma, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, I take a uh, therapy. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, whenever I have a fever, I take um, acetaminophen. Uh -huh, okay, okay. Uh, whenever I have um, ear or I can visit the doctor. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's very important, right? Because um, el dolor es bastante fuerte. All right. Very good. That is quite fine. Okay, guys. So let's continue practicing, okay? Uh, sigamos practicando. Voy a visitar el siguiente grupo. Agregamos tanto como sea posible, right? Share as many as possible. All right. Okay. So let's continue. I visit a doctor. Hello, hello. Como vamos? How are you doing here? Teacher, I have a question. Sure, tell me. Uh, how can I say uh, whenever I, I, I have some born, I yeah. put a cream está bien así uh, yeah you can use that one it depends right there is a word that is ointment okay ointment so i'm going to write it there all right so that can be an ointment like an ointment all right or some a cream that's fine by cream that's okay okay all right so what about the rest of you tell me what are the most common? Okay, what do you do whenever you have a headache? Mr. Albarenga, what do you do? Um, I take um, aspirin. All right, that's okay. Um, Blanca de Vasquez, what about you, Miss? Mrs. Vasquez? Hello, hello. ¿Pudieron hablar con Mrs. Vasquez? No, teacher. Ah, ok. Ok, ok. So, Mayra, tell me, what about you, Mayra? Uh, what? Give me some examples. Tell me, what do you do when you get sick? ¿Qué hace? What do you do? Um, I never have a headache. Uh, take a uh, Oh. Whenever, whenever I have a go, a go, I go to the doctor. Okay, so that would be whenever, uh, I'm sorry, whenever I have a cold, you said? I go to the doctor. Ah, oh, okay, very good. That's mm -hmm. all right. Okay, thank you. Whenever I uh, just to. No, continue, that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. Whenever I have a fever, I take uh, aspirina. Okay, whenever so I have headache. Uh 
I take a medicine. Uh, I'm sorry. When Así I se read... dice medicina. Medicine. 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 Uh, yes. <laughs> you take medicine. All right. Very good. That is quite fine. Okay. So let's continue practicing. Okay. Agregamos más. Try to add some more. All right. And ahorita regresamos. Déjenme eh, verificar con los demás y ya terminamos. All right. So let's continue. You're doing a good job. Está Bien. Vicky. Hola, hola. Y está la teacher. Okay. Hello okay. there. Vaya. Vaya. Voy, voy a preguntar. Uh, what do you do when what do you do when you have a headache? A headache. I take I take I take aspirin. Aspirin. You take you take aspirin. When one or two. One. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, what do you do when you have um, flu? Uh, I I am visit a doctor. A doctor. Okay. A doctor. Okay. okay very okay. good. So just don't forget eh, que usamos solo un verbo, right? So ah, I visit. Okay. I visit. Uh -huh. visit. All right. Visit. Yes, that is okay. I visit. All right. Doctor. Exactly, that is okay. What about the others? Uh, Mrs. Cardoza, let me see. Ms. Andrade, Ms. Leiva, what do you do? What do you do whenever you feel sick? Whenever I have a good headache, I take a Panadol. Okay. Okay, very good. What about the others? When, whenever I seek a uh, sleep. Really good remedy, right? So that is really nice. So whenever you're sick, you, okay, you sleep a little. You take a nap or do you Toma sleep? Toma yes. una siesta? Okay, so you take a nap, all right? Very nice. Miss Andrade, what about you? Te, uh, Se puede decir I take uh, acetaminophen or drink. I take, I take acetaminophen or I take medicine. Okay, very uh -huh. good. Uh -huh. Yeah, very nice. That is quite fine. All right, you're doing a really good job. Vamos a volver a la sesión eh, principal. All right, so okay. allow me just a second here. Very nice. You did it quite nicely. Hicimos bien, teacher. Yes, of course. That was quite fine. Hello, hello. How was the practice? I was listening to some of you. Very good job. Very good uh, fluency. Okay, very good pronunciation. So that is quite fine. Okay, very good use of grammar too. So excellent. That's really good. I really like uh, that you are using the vocabulary. Okay, so that was quite fine. All right, so vamos a esperar solo un par de segundos que todo el mundo se incorpore nuevamente. All right, that everybody's back. Okay, so I think we, there we go. All right, so we are going to also practice uh, something else. All right, let me share my screen here. That is, um, we are talking about description, we are talking about uh, illness, but also part of the objective of today is to work with uh, imperatives, okay? So let's take a look at the conversation that you have here. This belongs uh, to section number two, and this is called Don't Work Too Hard, okay? So first, let's listen and practice the conversation. So I'm going to read it for you, okay? And please, uh, please practice it, so repeat after me, okay? Uh, we have Dr. Young, and the doctor says, Hello, Miss West, how are you today? So everybody, let's repeat. Hello, Miss West. Hello, Mr. West. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? today? Okay, let's take a look at this. We have M, and in lowercase we have S. This is Miss. Hello, Miss West. Hello, Miss West. Hello, Miss West. Hello, Miss West. Hello, Ms. West. Hello, Ms. West. That is Hello, good. Miss West. Uh, West says, "Not so good." Not so good. Miss West, not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? So, so what's, what's wrong, wrong exactly? exactly? 
I am exhausted. I am exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. Mm. I, don't I, know. Don't know. I, I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. Okay, okay. let's okay. take a look at you. Take a look at you. Okay, very good. So this is the beginning of the conversation. And then a few minutes uh, later, this is what the doctor said. Let's repeat. I am going to give you some pills. I am going to give you some pills. Some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Take one, Take one pill every night, every night every after, after dinner. 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 Uh, dinner. Dinner. Miss West says, okay. 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 And then Dr. Young says, and don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. And don't drink, and don't coffee, drink coffee, coffee, tea, or soda. Or soda. Or soda. Or soda. And Anything else? Soda. Anything, Anything else? else? Yes. Don't work too hard. Yes. Don't yes. work too hard. Work too hard. hard. All right, thanks. All right, all right. All right, and pretty Teacher, much. Hello? Mayra, Mayra, help. Uh, what happened uh, to Mayra? Chat. Yes, I, I saw the chat, but I don't know what problem she has. Solo vi que tenía un problema. All right, well. Veamos si le podemos ayudar in some seconds, okay? Now, let's take a look at this one, guys. First of all, tell me, uh, ¿cuáles son las recomendaciones del doctor? What are some of the things she has to do? Uh, take one pill every night. Okay, so take one pill every night. ¿Qué más? Yeah. And don't drink don't coffee, drink tea, or coffee. soda. Exactly, so don't drink tea or coffee. Now, let's take a look at this. In general, estas son órdenes, all right? They are commands. So they are called imperatives. Cuando le digo a alguien, haz esto, no hagas esto, that is called an imperative. So we have this one, take one pill every night after dinner. In negative, the person says, don't drink coffee, tea, or soda, all right? So these are the things, in general, es lo que tiene que hacer. Allow me just a second here. Let me silent. Okay. Just give me a second. All right, there we go. So now, uh, what are we going to do? We are going to try to give some uh, commands, okay? Imagine you are the doctor, all right? And I need your help. I really, really need your help. Imagine that this is my situation, okay? I have fever. I have fever. So what I want you to do is tell me lo que yo tengo que hacer y lo que no tengo que hacer, all right? How do we do that? Really easy. Positive uh, commands, you simply say the verb. For example, oh, take uh, an aspirin, okay, every six hours, all right? Oh, okay, wait a second. Take an aspirin every six hours, all right? What happens if this is kind of a negative command, all right? If this is something que yo no debo de hacer, oh, for negative one, I am going to use do not, all right? Or don't. So tell me, whenever you have a fever, all right? So whenever we have a fever, que es algo que no debo de hacer? What is something I cannot do? Uh, don't, uh, don't eh, eh, dry or coffee. Okay, so don't drink, okay, don't drink coffee, all right? Que no tome café, maybe if I have fever, that could be wine. Don't drink coffee. Que es algo que no debo de hacer. Soda. Okay, so don't, don't drink, drink coffee. Drinking cold. Don't drink, okay, soda. Don't exercise. Oh, don't do exercise, okay. Do exercise. Uh, do or don't do? 
Aspirin, everything. Mm -hmm. cool. Oh, allow me a second. Leah, you said take an aspirin every four hours. Don't, don't drink. Um, take three aspirin. Okay, so, okay, allow me just a second here. Let me make. Don't let me just use this a little. Better. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. All right, first of all, it, it is really important to have this uh, clear, all right? So you let you don't, what I'm telling you is no lo haga, okay? So let's take a look at this. I have fever, all right? So one of the things I can tell you is, oh, take an aspirin, tome una, una aspirina, right? Take an aspirin. Take an aspirin every four hours, take an aspirin every four, every six hours, or tome dos aspirinas, take two aspirins, okay, every four hours, every six hours. Now, si es algo que yo no debo de hacer, then we use eh, don't, all right? So negative, we simply say don't, and that's it, all right? So don't, alguien mencionó the sweater. Is this a bad idea? Que no me ponga un sweater, don't, don't, yeah? Don't yeah, wear a sweater, really? Yes. Oh, okay. So don't wear a sweater. Algo más que no debo de hacer? Eh, don't drink. Don't eh, drink. Take, drive, don't drive, drink soda, soda, you said. Okay, don't drink coffee. Don't drink soda. Okay. I got that don't one. drink ice water. Don't drink. Okay, don't drink. Cold water, okay, don't drink cold water. That is quite fine. So take a look at this. We have like, these are kind of orders, okay? They are kind of commands that I give to a person, okay? Just allow me a second here. So now let's go for the next one. Let's take a look at next one. I have, I am going to erase this, okay? And I'm going to explain the next problem. This is the next situation, okay? I have a terrible stomachache, okay? I have a terrible stomachache. So tell me, what is, um, what are the orders? Jader, tell me. Eh, teníamos una pregunta en el grupo y es, ¿cómo se dice en el caso de, de que no tomamos, sino que aplicamos una pomada o algo parecido? ¿Cómo se diría? There are different ways. One can be apply, all right? And also okay. you can say put, okay? But si es well. como untar, all right? Que debe de untarlo alrededor, so you can also use rub. So rub is como, um, como cuando es un, un, un guento, right? So you rub it. Uh -huh. So you can use these three words. Okay. Thank all you. right. Okay, you're so welcome. Okay, so tell me, if I have a terrible stomachache, okay, what are some of the things that you can tell me about it? I am going to give you here like two little problems, okay? So I have a terrible stomachache and also I have a cold, all right? So I have a cold and I have a terrible stomachache. So, ¿cuáles son las cosas que yo debo, okay? Eh, Y las cosas que no debo de hacer, ¿ok? Algo que usted me diga, es una regla, no lo haga, ¿all right? So, this is when we use uh, imperatives. Remember, si es a positive imperative, solo es el verbo. Negative imperatives, todos llevan don't, ¿ok? Don't, eh, for example, don't buy pills, you know, but go to the doctor, ¿all right? Solamente es el verbo. Juan Carlos, tell me, how can I help you? Y si ponemos, teacher, I have, I have visit a doctor. Uh, remember that me está dando como kind of commands, all right? Me está dando órdenes. Sí, cuando right? le digo, cuando dice usted, I, I have a terrible stomach. Mm -hmm. I eh, have a terrible yo, stomach I have, I have, I have, I have visit a doctor. Okay, remember this. Eh, I have a terrible stomach ache. Es mi situación, all right? This is kind of my, my health problem. I have a cold, 
So, esta es mi situación. Usted me va a dar órdenes, all right? Oh, teacher, haga esto, all right? So, when you do that, es que utilizamos los commands. Acá no hay commands, all right? Because this is a situation. Si usted me dice, vaya al doctor, solamente will be a positive one, and you say, hey, go to the doctor. Eso es todo, okay? Go to the doctor. Yeah? So, we use the verb. Sin el I, sin el you, sin el she, nothing, all right? Or the verb. Take, take a medicine. Take medicine. Very good. Ah, Go to okay. the doctor. Okay. 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 Uh, don't yeah. take a shower or take a shower. All right. So positive, it's only the verb. Negative, we use don't and then the verb. Okay. So because they are kind of commands or orders. Are we good? Preguntas? Do you have any question, comments? Pero si, si yo le digo, digamos, como una orden a, a mi daughter o a my, a my, my wife, yo le digo, I have, I have uh, the visit uh, a doctor, mm -hmm. a mi esposa o mi mm -hmm. Yeah, esa no es una no. orden. That is not an order. Ah, okay. Because if you tell them, I have to do this, usted les está contando, all right? But it's not an order. It becomes an order cuando usted le dice, oh, take. Go, do, Toma. read, okay, okay. Uh, eat. That is an order. So, solamente es el verbo y negativos para don't. That is an order, okay? Okay, everybody. So, we are going to make groups, okay? But, vamos a hacer los grupos para que discutamos these two, okay? So, I want you to discuss ideas de lo que se debe y no se debe hacer if you have a terrible stomach cake. And if you have a cold, I will give you like four minutes. Discutamos como grupo, take notes, and then we come over here y vamos a discutirlas together, okay? So we are going to make some groups right now. Okay, so let's get in groups. Remember, the idea is to practice. So practice as much as you can, all right? Don't eat fruit. Uh -huh. Siento que es una recomendación, no es una orden. El que, ¿cómo? Perdón. Re, um, pero es que es? si me duele, si estoy enferma del estómago, ¿qué es lo que no debo de, no debo de hacer? Don't uh -huh. eat fruit, fruit, fruta. Uh -huh. No uh -huh. debo de comer fruta porque más me enfermo. Uh -huh. Sí. Entonces en, la, entonces en esas respuestas es don't. Solo uh -huh. don't y el verbo y el complemento. Sí. No se usa I. Uh -huh. No. Ahí. Solo el, el verbo uh -huh. negativo del do, el, el, el verbo normal y, y, y lo que no debemos hacer. Mm -hmm. Don't eat fru fruit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or oh, go to the doctor. Ajá, sin yes. el I. Mm -hmm. Sin, sin el, el I. I. Solo mm -hmm. es, ajá, cabal. Go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Oh. Voy al doctor. Voy al doctor. Mm -hmm. Sin el I. Yes. Mm -hmm. Y el negativo es don't eat fruit. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Exactly. So that's the way we give orders. Okay. What else? If I have a terrible stomach cake, 
So you said don't eat fruit, go to the doctor. Uh, any other idea? Um, take. That to be small, um, maybe. Uh, uh, okay. Uh -huh. Take. Um, or take medicine okay take medicine all right very good that's okay what about a cold if i have a cold si tengo un resfriado, okay if i have a cold uh, whenever i have a cold what are like some of the things drink. that i have to so the drink do's tea. and the don'ts drink tea okay ¿Qué tipo de té? what kind of tea uh, no sé cómo se dice manzanilla. <laughs> chamomile, okay. Chamomile. You can chamomile. Google, no problem. Okay, that's mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's continue. Continue practicing. Voy a ir a... Uh, drink, drink tea limon. Drink tea limon. Uh -huh. Le yeah. Lemon tea. Al revés. Lemon. Lemon tea. Lemon, lemon tea. Uh -huh. oh. like lemon tea. Ajá. Te medicine. Medicine. Medicine, all right, that's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so pensamos en otro problema, think about another uh, health problem, okay? Y pensamos en lo que tiene y no tiene que hacer, all right? So, los, las veo un segundo, keep on practicing, okay? Sigamos okay. practicando, you're doing fine. Medicine. Uh-huh, what, what medicine? Uh, ¿Es de qué es? Uh, Hedach, dolor de cabeza, Hedach. Um, Acetaminophen MK. Acetaminophen, okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Next. so if you have a headache, you said you have to take acetaminophen. Yeah. Okay, so take acetaminophen. <laughs> what else? ¿Qué más? Um, hey. I, I take a coffee. Fuerte, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? <laughs> strong coffee? Okay. Okay, I didn't know. Yes. No sabía, I didn't know. So, Heavy okay. coffee. Uh -huh. That would be a strong, a strong coffee. Uh -huh. a strong coffee. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, strong coffee. Right. What about the others? What if I have um, stomach cake? What are your, your ideas? What is something that... Um, si le quiero decir que tiene que dormir. Solamente sleep. dígame, exactly, sleep. sleep. Only sleep. Take sleep. O sleep. No, sleep, sleep. Uh -huh. mm. Sleep well. Sleep seven hours. Okay. Or pero sleep. Uh, uh -huh. Pero con un dolor de estómago no se puede dormir. No, porque le duele la cabeza, dice. Oh, I ah, think no, they were talking la, about la, a headache. La teacher preguntó que tenía un dolor de estómago. Yeah. Uh, All right, no problem, no problem. That's okay. So with a headache, what is uh, your your idea? What is something that I uh, I can do and I cannot do? Uh, so I you know. mentioned sleep. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Come on. So what else? Um. I have, I have a uh, teeth, como si es el dolor de muelas. Tuesday. 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 Mm -hmm. Tuesday. I have a Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, um, hard. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Voy a supervisar a los demás. Okay, if you have questions, let me know. So let's continue, guys. <laughs> Hello? So you're discussing no. diarrhea? <laughs> no. <laughs> Estamos hablando del polvito que se le echa al diente para que le quite el dolor. I have no idea. <laughs> no, se nos olvidó el nombre. What is it? Se nos olvidó el nombre. A powder. I... A powder, you said. There is a powder. I don't know. Es como un polvo uh, or something. Yeah. Or a pill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Es como un polvo. O uh, el odontálgico, Díaz. Eso. Is that good? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Mercedes lo ha usado. I don't. Use it? I don't, I don't have a, a toothache. Never. Me too. Oh, okay. Never. I see. 
I have had to think, okay? I have had to think. But I go to the dentist, okay? Or yes. something. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, so tell me, what is something that, uh, imagine, I have a toothache. Give me some commands. Imagine that you are the doctor. Mm -hmm. Put odontalgico uh, diaz. <laughs> All right, that's okay. What else? Don't eat a toasted tortilla. All right, that's bad. <laughs> what else? Candy? What about candy? Don't, um, candy. don't eat don't candy. Jump. Don't eat candy. Don't, don't eat jump. candy. Don't? Don't eat. Don't jump. Saltar. No saltar. Uh -huh. Okay. Don't jump. Don't eat candy. Don't eat tortilla. Don't. What about lo que si tengo que hacer? Tell me the things that I have to do. Go uh, to dentist. Okay. So go to the dentist. Very good. Go dentist. What about? How do you say cepillar? Brush, uh, brush teeth. Brush your teeth, all right? Brush so your brush teeth. your teeth at least three times a day. That is a really good recommendation, okay? All right, very good. That is quite fine. So, sigamos practicando. Okay, voy a visitar un grupo más y luego regresamos a la sesión principal, okay? You are doing a good job. So, just con uh, continue, okay? Let's continue. My teacher. Bye-bye. Don't go out. Don't go out. Sí, así sería. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you here? ¿Cómo les está yendo? Are you practicing? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, that is fine. So tell me, imagine that I have a toothache, okay? And imagine yes. you are the doctor. So tell me. Nosotros agarramos sus ejemplos. Ah, okay. I have the reflex stomachache. Okay. And that was in positive, pusimos take medicine. Very good. Negativo, I don't exercise. Perdón, exercise. Okay. Solo que tengo el A. Don't exercise. Así, así, así. Don't. Don't work. Oh, no vamos a ir a trabajar. Okay. <laughs> don't, go to, don't go to don't work. work. Okay. No, don't, work. Uh, don't go to work. Yeah, don't go uh, to okay. work. Okay. Yeah, so don't go to work. Uh, take medicine, you said? Okay, so if you have a terrible, right? So repitamos terrible, terrible. 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 Exactly. So I have a terrible stomachache. I have. Terrible a stomachache. Exactly, that's the one. All right, very good. No, but your example is fine, so it's okay. Very nice. So I see that you're doing fine. Vamos a, re a regresar a la estación principal, okay? We are going back. Just allow okay. me a second here. Hello, hello. Hello. <coughs> hello. Hello. Okay, so tell me, we have a couple of problems, okay? We have a couple of health problems. So we can have one more time. A pain in the head, se llama, how do you call this one? This is a headache. All right, headache. so this is a headache. 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 If I headache. have a problem with my tooth, se llama? Toothache. Toothache, very good. If I have a problem in my ear, se llama? 
earache. Earache, exactly. Earache. If I have a problem in my stomach, so it is called? Stomachache. 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 Very good. Now, imagine I tell you, I have a terrible stomachache. All right? So, give me some ideas. Okay, tell me the do's and the don'ts. Go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Thank you, Carolina. Take a medicine. Take medicine. Thank you, Hugo. More ideas? I take intestomycin. Take intestomycin. All right, that's okay. Now, imagine I tell you, I have a terrible problem or I have a terrible pain in my tooth. I have a terrible toothache. So toothache. tell me the do's and the don'ts. Take an analgesic. Okay, okay, thank you. Anybody else? Uh, uh, it drops. Visit, it, visit it, dentist. Okay, so Juan Carlos says visit the dentist. Uh, Vicky, tell me. Eat the ice cream. Oh, really? Is that a good idea? Yes, dentist siempre lo recomiendo. Ah, okay, okay. Porque thank el padre you. que trabaja en el laboratorio okay. López por okay. está recomendando eso. So, okay, Vicky says eh, buy an ice cream. Okay, that's okay. Any other idea? Or charamoscas. Is that good, Vicky? Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, so, so, cualquier cosa helada, anything that is cold. Yeah, it is cold. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Anything else? Algo más? I have a toothache. What else? So, medicine. Uh, okay, so, buy medicine. Okay, so, pay some medicine. Algo más? Anything else? Uh, what about uh, what about if I have a toothache? It's algo que no debo de hacer. Miguel, tell me. Bueno, eh, es que me estaban recomendando la Coca Cola también ahí, le digo. Para, para. <laughs> like drink a Coca Cola? Yes. Sí, para el dolor de estómago. Oh, for a stomach ache. Okay, oh, but what about for a toothache? Okay, okay, toothache. Por los dientes, the, con la muela. Uh, All go, right. Um, Go visit the doctor. Okay, so visit, visit the dentist, maybe. Visit, Alguien me decía eh, por ahí, don't eh, eat a tortilla, so toasted tortilla. So that is really bad, all right? Algo más para los dientes? Remember, we are in a toothache, all don't, right? Teacher, eh, hay, gente, hay gente que se lo pincha con una aguja. Don't. Mm. Eh, yeah. um. Don't do anything, okay, to your tooth. Okay, so don't do anything. Que no haga nada, right? Don't do anything to your tooth. Uh, uh, don't, don't, don't candy. Don't? Don't yeah. no candy, yes. Mm -hmm. Pero me hace falta el verbo. Don't? Don't eat. Thank don't you. eat don't candy. Eat. Exactly. Uh, candy. Don't eat candy. Very good. Okay, everybody. So, look. Don't eat Mirta. <laughs> don't eat, Leah? Mirta. <laughs> Ah, okay. Yeah, hay también remedios caseros, right, that people do. Okay, everybody, so thank you very much for your participation. That was really interesting. I didn't know a lot of things about toothaches, okay? For example, que lo helado era bueno, so thank you for that. That is totally fine, okay? So, please, avancemos. This is section number two, okay? Uh, intentamos avanzar as, um, you know, lo más que podamos, right? So, okay. thank you, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good thank night. Thank you, teacher. Okay, teacher. Thank you, Bye, teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.